you don't have to use that. I'm, I'm, I'm born in the 60s, I won't go too deep on my age, but I remember going to the, to the record store, it was, a, uh, it was a record store on Normandy in 60th, in the, I won't even, in the early 70s. I went with my uncle. We need to bring back, when you could go into a record store and say, oh man, I'm going to get this Patti LaBelle. Ooh, you leave out with 12 different artists. Can we go into a hip hop store right now and say, oh, I like him, I like him. We can't do that, but we need to do, bring that back where we have a variety. But in order for us to have a variety, you know, I was born in the 60s, and I was raised on the each one teach one thing. It seems like the elders are too scared to school the soldiers because we threatened by them. When we, the, the, the young generation is what's going to carry the torch into this new style of music, and we have to embrace them. But a producer came to me the other day, and I remember uh, me and Sterling, we, we spoke on a panel in San Diego, and he said something to me, and now when I speak on panels, I always bring this up. Producers and rappers do not understand. When you do, like producers still now, they have to give their hard-earned work away to get a name in the game, and that is not true. Sterling said, and I, I, I did my research, and it's absolutely right. Do you know when you do a track, and you put it on the internet, like for a mixtape, or you put it up there and you want a rapper to rap on it, and you don't do the paperwork on it, it's considered free content. So somebody else downloads it in another country, and you hear artists on it, or you go to iTunes, or you go to uh, iOta, or you go to Mobile Street, and that track you did, a rapper is rapping on it. Because you put it on the internet for free download, and it's considered free content. You can't go in anybody's court and try to get the track that you didn't copyright, and producers, please copyright your material. You do have the right to copyright. So even if you number it, you, track one is number two, three, whatever you name it, Josephine, you can name your tracks and copyright. So rappers, and I'm, I'm gonna say this, and, I, and I'm not gonna say anything else, I want you guys to leave with this. I always want people to leave with something in their head. Do you know, I'll give each and everybody in here $1,500 if you can go to any other website and download a, a rock and roll album and call it a mixtape, a gospel album with all 15 original songs. Hip hop is the only genre of music where we feel we have to give away our hard earned work to get a buzz for ourselves. When you got digital, you got a lot of different outlets where you can make money selling it, but if you can go to any website and give me a rock and roll album with 25 to 26 original songs, when they call it a mixtape, I give each and every one in here $1,500. And I'll put it in right. You're not going to find anybody that just give their music away. So I, I tell producers and rappers, create value in what you do and stop giving away your material. It's called intellectual property. Thank you. Uh, Most important thing in the business. That's the most